Step in the box, baseball fans. Welcome back to another episode. We've got some more 2022 Tops Series 1 baseball. Have three Meyer Purples. I wish I could find a truckload of these. Unfortunately, this is all that I could come up with. Has the one purple parallel per. The chances of pulling a Wander Purple are slim to none. Like, what is that, 1%? Highly doubtful we get a purple. But we'll start with the hangers or bangers first. Let me adjust this just a little bit. Hope everybody's doing well. Let's dig the cleats in. Let's see what we can pull. Had some more sapphire come. Three more boxes. I'm going to open up that. I don't know if I'll do that on Sunday or Monday. You too, Jared. We're going to be watching some basketball. Who do you think is going to win the games? Just saw... Uh, Spencer Torkelson is going to be on the opening day roster. So Series 2, Detroit Tigers are going to be sought after. Torque coming up. Jared says Blue Devils. Torkelson coming to Series 2, guys. I would almost bet it. It's early enough. He should be the face of the rookies, and I'm sure there's other guys. Is Bobby Witt going to be on Kansas City's opening day? We got a green ice ice baby. Green ice ice baby. Jacob DeGrom, he's hurt. Duke of Kansas. Can't, they're calling it. DeGrom. Out of 499, we got a blue rookie here, Riley Adams. I'll take that. I like the um like those a lot. Oh, sorry for the little blip there. There we go. Got a rookie. That was actually a nice one. Stuart Fairchild. Rainbow foil. These are tough. Sorry about that little blip, everybody. It's been a decent box. And then here we go. Vlad, Buster Posey, Judge Jury, the Executioner, KB, KB insert. And then here we go. Backside, what's up, trading cards and more? First box out of the gate. We'll save those Meyer Purples for last. Bo Bichette. My World Series prediction, Dodgers, Rays, Rays win it all. Again, if you haven't heard the news, Spencer Torkelson will be on the opening day roster for the Detroit Tigers. He is going to be definitely the face of Series 2. And if Bobby Witt gets called up, wow, Series 2 is going to be lit. Series 2 is going to be lit. Bishop, word is on the street that the Dodgers have a third baseman coming from the minors. Wow. Series 2 and Topps Chrome is going to be lit this year. I mean, Wander Mania was already a monster. Robert, good luck. Let me know what you got. Let's keep it rolling. What, what area are you in, Robert? What city and state? I know Myers are almost all in the Midwest. Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, Michigan, Minnesota. Another Bo Bichette. We hit back-to-back -back packs with bows. I like to keep an eye on those. Got another blue coming up. Come on, Blue Wander. No Blue Wander, but Devin Williams. It's a nice Jackie Robinson. Here comes the inserts. Same exact pack to those. We just, here, let me show you. This drives me nuts. There's a bow nose. Let's do, let me go through this. There's a Wander. Nice. Wander Mania is alive. Give me one second. I want to show you something. This is what will drive you. You'll see the collation, how they come out. We just had some of the same guys. Again, it's, there's a Bruhan right there. And a Future Star Vaughn. Sorry for going off the camera there. There we go. Let's look at that last pack. Let me pull these out. Here you go. There's 
Those four guys. And here it is. Last pack. Exact same pack, guys. Bryant, Posey, Judge, and Ramirez. Exact same four cards. Insert cards. But life goes on. Catching up. Uh, let's see here. CJ Abrams will be in as well. Very could well be Joe. Series 2 going to be fire. Akron, Ohio by me. So Ohio has Myers too. Got to love the Meyer. I love shopping at Meyer. I got a few in my area. One's right down the street. I'm in Illinois. Kimbrel on top. That could either be a really good trade or bad trade for both teams. White Sox need bullpen help. So do the Dodgers. If Kimbrel's awesome, but he has not been awesome. So, so far, these two fat packs, so the two have been a pretty nice. Any trout's a good trout. Put him on the side. It's a dollar trout coming out. There was a card show today. I decided not to go. We have an insert coming up. Would love to pull one of those. There's a rainbow foil. Would love to pull one of those downtowns, a.k.a. home field advantage. Any trout's a good trout. It's a nice trout. Two trouts. Eloy generates the next. Wow, we had back-to-back -back jacks. This one, is that numbered? This one might be a parallel. I'm not sure why there's two. I don't think so, though. I think there was just two of them there. Greatest hits. Dude, that was a crazy pack. Did you guys see that? Wow. Too bad that could have been. That thing was just loaded. Holy cow. That had so many of these. I was, I was like, what? I'm confused here. Machine must have just been dropping the cards. Why can't that be when you get, like, some golds. <laughs> that was wild. Didn't we get the Mike Trout greatest hits out of that one, or am I just confused? That threw my brain for a loop. Series one, baby. I'm looking forward to Meyer Purples. Like I said, I there's not going to be a wander in that purple. I can almost guarantee you that. Let's see here. Catching up. Bishop said the open four fat packs from Walgreens have pulled home field advantage. Very nice. Good luck, Robert. My daughter got to met Abrams. Oh, that's super cool. Bishop, crazy pack. It was a crazy pack. Next box. These are the Florida version hanger boxes. My sister went out shopping one of the days where, or not Florida, but uh, South Carolina. My sister went out shopping at Target one of the days we were down there. And she picked these up. Uh, there, Robert, there's one purple this year per box. One purple per box. I wish there was two. Ian Happ for the Cubbies. That long swing. See how he does this year. Cubs are going to be terrible. Their pitching is bad. Hendricks is the opening day starter for... You just can't win in the MLB with guys throwing... 90 miles an hour. Josh Naylor, we had a home run challenge card. Any trout is a good trout. I like that one. I'm going to redeem a bunch of those. Been a lot of trouts in this opening so far. Speaking of, there's Tatis. Any trout's a good trout. Generation next, Dylan Carlson. And another trout's a good trout. You see, I'm putting all the trouts in a pile. $3.49. There's a Newt bar. $3.49. I think they're the best value out there. I, I literally would spend, I would buy a thousand of these blisters at $3.49. Get my Myers rewards. If I could find a thousand, I would buy a thousand. Unfortunately, in 2019, I got a bunch of them. 2020, I got hardly any. Last year, I hit a whole big run of them. And this year, it's so hard since they are stocking. It just depends on your area and how they stock. I got unlucky yesterday. Went there, they weren't stocked. Went back, they were. 
Somebody had already gotten most of them. Left three, that's the good thing. They left three. So we'll see what comes out of those three. Hopefully they left the right one. Doubtful though. But again, if you so kindly could hit that thumbs up. Appreciate all the new subscribers, all the original OGs out there. Let's see here. We got a rainbow foil or is this a uh, rainbow foil? It is. Man, I will say again, these hangers have lots of rainbow foils, which is not too bad. There's a Kelnick. That's too bad DeGrom is hurt. The Mets were counting on him. The Mets fans are going to be, I'm sorry, Mets fans, but you're going to have another letdown. I thought the Burns, thought that should have been a wander after the Burns. But is that Woodruff? Can't remember now. Yeah, the blisters, they don't make, there's a Juan Soto. They do not make very many blisters. Blister packs at Meyer are hard to come by. The print run is very, very small. I was looking up the pop count. 2019 Fernando Tatis Jr., I believe. His rookie card has... 21 graded Meyer Blister Purples. That will tell you how few there are. Imagine, I had five of those Tatis rookie cards. I sold them all raw. What an idiot I am. But, you know, when you're buying that much stuff, you got to sell some stuff. And the first things to go are the most expensive. Should have kept one. Um, Bishop, I did see that kid from Tennessee throwing gas. I think that was on um, TikTok that I saw him, I think. What's up? Thanks for stepping in the box, Behab. Hopefully Behab isn't in rehab. Otani and Trout. Man, I tell you what, again, this year, the short prints are so hard. We got one of these chromes coming. And Nolan Arenado. Here's a chrome. I love these chromes. Another, again, if you like hangers and looking for rainbow foils, rainbow foils seem to be like the number one thing coming out. And Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Or uh, Senior, not Junior. And there's Corbin Burns. And there's another Wander. Wander number two. There it is. Let's do it. Let's see here. Why is the Wander Franco card so hyped right now? Greetings from Germany. Wander Franco came up last year. He had an amazing run. He is a, the Rays have had an excellent farm system. And the kid has some exciting plays behind him. And he's like the face of the hobby too right now. But, you know, is he going to produce? I don't know. But it kind of takes that like, it's hard to say. Like, look at Luis Robert, man. When 2020, Luis Robert had the hype, the hobby hype. Every year there's like one or two guys that just gets the hype behind them. And Wander Mania 2022 is no joke. And... Yeah, Tatis is hurt. Wander could be the new dude. Did you guys see Wander parked in the GM spot at string training so the GM drove his car out on the field? This product is a waste of your money, says J1. That depends on what you're looking for. If you're resourceful and know how to sell cards, you're, these are basically free openings for me. Take the inserts, take the sets. And then keep the big hits. The Wanders are, there's Reed Detmers. I keep hearing people say that about the hobby, that the paper is garbage. Guys, the paper is not garbage. The set collectors buy it. The inserts. You got to understand, you know, that not everybody's looking for the big hit products. Buster Posey. It's a nice one. 
Otani, and Reggie Jackson. So that was all the hangers. Seven hangers it is. Coming down to the end. You know, I keep hearing people say, oh, uh, the junk air, the junk air, overprinted, overprinting. There's a Tatis on the back end. You know, if you follow everything that everybody says, you're just going to be, be behind the game, you know? Detmers is a top 50 pro. He is. He's going to be in the starting lineup. All right, here we go. Series one blisters. First one coming out. The purple is behind the pack. The purple is behind the pack. We got a nice one off the bat. The mill, this is why I like these purples, guys. Put this here. This is why I like these purples. This is basically a free pack. This Miguel Cabrera will sell for at least five bucks. At least five dollars. The pack was free. That's why I love these purples. Everybody putting the team sets together or player collectors. You're going to need the purple to get all the colors on the checklist. That's a nice one. Star purple. Again, that's probably five to ten bucks. Save the packs to last. All right, let's see what purple we get here. Looks like we have a Astros card. This is the one negative about how these, if you're going to grade these, getting a PSA 10 is damn near impossible. But liftoff, Houston Astros. And then let's get that pack out of there. I'll finish the packs off. Let's see here, Brett. Oh, I got one. Let me see. Nico says I got one Wander base card, but in Germany, there is not much interest in these cards. Yeah, I could understand that, Nico. Social media doesn't represent enough of the collectors. Highlights of I agree with that. Social media, if you are going by, um, oh my gosh, I thought that was a Wander just for a second. I saw the rookie. Rookie, I'll take this. This is a long-term hold for me right here. This is a long-term hold for me. Later, J1. Rookie purple. I'll put this in a top loader. Again, this is a super hard hit. De La Cruz, the Marlins, rookie. I like that. So, Rob, what's up, man? Walmart blisters also have purple cards. No, I don't think the uh, Walmarts do. Just the Myers. Meyer only has purples, and many people don't have a Myers close. Like I said, I would buy a thousand of these. I'd probably buy more than a thousand. These packs have super long odds of hitting something. The packs are, you know, they're just single packs. So pulling anything decent out of here is gonna be tough. Again, I appreciate everybody tuning in. Please like, subscribe, share, comment below. Meyer Purples, I wish I could find more. Really do. But it's not easy these days. Rookie. And there's a Tatis. It's not bad. Back-to-back -back Tatises. And last pack, Mojo. Again, I appreciate you tuning in. I'll do a recap. This has not been too bad. Seven hangers. Three blisters. We got a rookie purple from Meyer. Brandon Marsh, Key Brian Hayes. And there you have it, Javi Baez to finish it off. So again, here is our monstrous pile of inserts. Any trout's a good trout. I was putting the trouts on the side. Home run challenge trout. So just putting those on the side. Let's go to this pile. This pile is not bad. DeGrom numbered card. We got a blue rookie. Fairchild rainbow foil. We have the Topps Chrome Stars of the MLB. We've got three Myers, Pur Myers Purple. Miguel Cabrera, baby. Again, long-term hold on this De La Cruz. And then probably the best cards, I guess, is the back-to-back -back Wanders. 
out of the hangers. Oh, let's see here. Tim says, I had a Soto home field advantage today. Oh, congrats. I'm trying to put together that whole set, Tim. The 10 base ones, not the SSPs, but let's see here. Nico, what is the 2021 Baseball Series 1, Luis Robert, yellow printing print worth? Man, that I don't know on that, buddy. Just open 50 packs of cards from Family Dollar. Not one wander. Holy crap. Sometimes you hit them and sometimes you don't. But... Again, this is what I get excited for right here, guys. These are the kind of cards I get excited for right here. You never know what dude's going to bust out. Top load it, top load it, top load it. I'll put it into a box, and we'll see what happens here. If this dude gets hot and you grade it, you're like, well, that's awesome. But you never know. It's not always about the hype guy. Guys come out of nowhere. But, man, those Meyer purples look great. Look at that. Where's that Miggy? Let's put the Miggy up there. Future Hall of Famer. Look at this beauty. These are looking pretty nice this year. Last year, they were super cut wrong. Like, you could see the white. This one looks really crispy for a card that was just floating in the pack. Looks real nice. Eat your heart out, Dylan. He's a Detroit Tigers. What's up, St. Louis Cardinals fan? I feel you, Rob. I have, oh, I might as well stay on here. In 2019, me and an acquaintance, me and her went out on like a 95 degree day. We left at like, I don't know, 8.30, 9 o'clock in the morning. And I went to at least 20 miles in the Chicago land down into Indiana. And I purchased, I don't know, 250 to 300 2019 top series two blister packs. I'll never forget that. Pulled some Tatises, pulled some Pete Alonzos, pulled some Eloys, and then a vintage stock Eloy came out of one of the packs. A gold out of 2019 Tops came out of one of those packs. An Independence Day parallel Tatis came out of the, one of those packs. It was one of the most epic days I've ever had of card hunting. It was so fun. I'll never forget it. I wish I had it on camera, but that was before I started YouTube. But at least I'm here to able to share that story. That's what's fun to me about the hobby. Sometimes it's not all about the cards. It's about the memories and what you did. Like I said, it was a super hot day. I just purchased my Honda Pilot that spring, and it was so fun just cruising through the Chicago burbs. Had a blast. But I appreciate you guys being here. I'll have some Topps Chrome Update Sapphire coming on my next opening. I don't know if I'm going to do that Sunday or Monday or early next week. But until next time, peace.